I think that families or parents will be active in their child's academic success by being involved in the classroom, making sure you're asking your child, how was your day? Do you have homework? The big thing for a parent is just to make sure that you're asking those questions, you're getting involved and to build those relationships, not just with your own child, but with other parents in the classroom as well as the educators. The parents are their children's first role models. Uh, as far as how to contribute to the success of your children, I think the most important thing is getting to know the teachers and the staff of your school that the child goes to. It's also important that you attend those parent-teacher conferences and you go to those PTOs and PTA nights to get involved. Just keep a focus on a lot of communication, whether it's the parent and the child or whether it's the parent and the school. And I think once you're doing this, um, your child will learn to create his own educational journey and be on his way to success. You have to be there and you have to be present, whether once again picking up the child from school or being going to the different meetings that are involved in the school, but being present and not being afraid. I think sometimes parents become afraid to show up at the kid's school. They don't want to hamper their education or they're afraid to ask teacher or administrator, administration different things. But I think those are the type of things that need to be done for the kids to be successful. We have to ask the questions. We have to be present. We have to be ready to hold everyone accountable for our kids' education. Families can be active by constantly going to programs that are offered by the school system and following up with teachers and, and finding out about how your student is doing and finding out what the teacher needs and support from you to help in, uh, increase the child's learning ability so that you can give the best learning environment possible for your child so they can achieve at the highest level. I feel like the, the elementary age parents are just a lot more naturally a lot more involved in their children's educational you know, experiences but as they get older they feel that they don't necessarily need to be involved and I think that is a misconception because I think that that is when you do need to be involved so my advice would be is even as they get on into middle school and high school still be involved and know their teachers and know what's going on because I think ultimately that's what's going to help them to succeed. Well, it's good to be active with your child, um, and, and that means be engaged with what they're doing, not just with their education, but with their, their, social, um, their social activities. Know their friends, know the things that they're doing, help them with their extracurriculars, um, but don't do it for them. Um, let them explain what they're doing. Let them make their mistakes. Um, but don't let it be a costly mistake. Let them make the mistake, then show them the right way, and then and then be, be both learn from it. I feel like um, as parents, we you know we show our um, involvement by visiting the schools. Um, you know, unexpectedly, um, maybe even taking time out uh, if you're able to um, to have lunch with your kids, um, to you know take advantage of the class dojo by just reaching out to the parents um, for those who have that um, that possibility of just being able to just say you know good job you know to the teachers, just letting them know that they're appreciated. You know, a lot of people would l hear that and they they would be intimidated by what they think that request is. But that could be as small as reading with their child. That could be as small as sitting down and doing homework or going to the school and speaking with the teachers. Those things are things that impact your child's educational future. And so they're gonna do more because they see you doing more.